The violating vehicles on the street still attempt to flee upon seeing the patrolling police force. Can they escape the experienced pursuit of law enforcement? Join us today to witness the intense situations and challenges faced by the street protection forces. A runaway truck collided with a parked car by the side of the road. The incident left onlookers shocked, and fortunately, there were no serious injuries in this traffic mishap. Yeah, we've got uh, a light truck um, at this almost in the uh, westbound uh, lane. Um, you OK, mate? Stop! Y'all don't love Stop! What did I do? What did I do? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? Did I do to you? Did I do to you? A car that had previously attacked a police vehicle returned to the Kent District Complex. The black unregistered vehicle raised suspicions, leading the police to report the situation to the dispatch center. Despite police efforts to stop the vehicle, it fled the scene. To prevent potential harm to other vehicles, the police decided to intervene when the suspect reduced speed and on a less congested stretch of road. The passive integrated transponder maneuver succeeded on the first attempt. Put your hands up! I lost the car! I lost the car! The woman inside the vehicle continued to resist inside, but the police quickly subdued her. She claimed to have done nothing wrong and offered no explanation for why she attempted to flee. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Face down on the ground now! Put your hands out! Put your hands out! You're not saying nothing to me. Get down flat on the ground. A vehicle was confirmed to have an expired registration but was still in motion on the road. After verifying the details on the system, the police initiated surveillance. However, upon realizing the police presence, the vehicle turned onto a narrow street and attempted to flee. There have been numerous instances of pursuits between the police and offenders. However, more often than not, individuals choose to evade arrest rather than pull over and face the consequences. The act of fleeing is perhaps driven by the belief that they can escape law enforcement. It is only when they see the police officers with firearms that they eventually surrender. A traffic violator was being pursued by the Milwaukee police. 
The sirens and emergency lights were activated as soon as the pursuit began. The reckless vehicle aggressively maneuvered past other traffic, even running a red light in a daring attempt to escape. The patrolling police continuously reported the pursuit situation to the police headquarters, seeking support from their colleagues. Despite relentless efforts to stay close and find an opportunity to intervene, the fleeing vehicle maintained a high speed. The police officers were concerned that an accident might occur, given the ongoing movement of other vehicles. As predicted, the pursued vehicle sped through an intersection at a high velocity, running a red light, and collided forcefully with another moving vehicle. The impact caused the suspect's vehicle to flip over on the road. The police discovered an orange car that had run a red light at an intersection. As soon as the driver noticed the police car behind, they immediately fled. The siren was activated and the police pursued the vehicle onto a small road near a church. The driver eventually came to a stop, but despite repeated commands, they refused to exit the car promptly. Get out of the vehicle! Get out of the vehicle! Get out of the vehicle! Get out of the vehicle. Uh, we can't. Let me see your hand. I'm not playing with you. If you reach for something, you will be shot. I'm not playing with you. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle now. Walk back towards me. Do not. Hey, stop reaching. I don't care. Stop reaching. It took a considerable amount of time for the driver to finally step out. The police swiftly restrained the woman. In your opinion, what should the police do in this situation? Come on, man. Seriously? Why are you being so aggressive? Aggressive? You just ran two stop signs. Stationary at seven. Get up. Get up. Get up. Even when apprehended, she showed no concern about potential charges, only worrying about losing a flip-flop. It is astonishing that she provided the excuse of taking her sister to the hospital while her sister was not even present in the car. A Florida Highway Patrol trooper stationed at the Medane Bank was conducting routine duties when they spotted a red Dodge traveling at nearly 90 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. The patrol unit initiated its pursuit, but upon noticing the police, the vehicle behind them with sirens blaring, the driver immediately accelerated to speeds in an attempt to evade their responsibility. The police maintained a close pursuit, waiting for the right moment to intervene. Once they deemed the opportunity had arrived, the police used the patrol vehicle to perform a pit maneuver and on the rear of the suspect's car, causing it to leave the roadway and come to a stop in an empty lot. Yeah, 
The pursuit concluded and the suspects was apprehended without the need of medical intervention. What is your opinion on the situation? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. The drivers who exceed the speed limit often attempt to evade police pursuits for various reasons. They fear facing legal repercussions and criminal liability for traffic violations. Being apprehended could lead to fines and license suspension, with more severe cases even resulting in imprisonment. At times, they may feel pressured about their personal image and seek to avoid arrest in front of family and friends. The believing and fleeing might help preserve their honor and re personal reputation rather than submitting to the police pursuit. In some instances, fleeing may be related to engaging in un unlawful activities such as transporting can man, the aim to evade the police checks and controls to protect their illicit operations. Regardless of the reasons, attempting to escape a bound encountering law enforcement will likely lead to unfavorable outcomes. Therefore, to avoid such situations, it is crucial to adhere seriously to traffic laws, drive safely, and in any circumstance, comply with law enforcement's requests. A Camry was moving along a stretch of road in Little Rock, Arkansas, when the police noticed a license plate violation. The patrolling officer immediately pursued the vehicle, instructing it to pull over. However, the driver ignored two stop signs before finally pulling onto the shoulder. Upon requesting the driver's documents, the individual was asked to exit the vehicle for a thorough search. As the police commenced the inspection and issued an arrest warrant, the driver attempted to flee and after briefly returning to the car, the driver sped away at a high rate. Despite his intervention attempts, the suspect evaded capture, turning the car around and speeding in the opposite direction, reaching an estimated speed of around 120 miles per hour.
the driver abandoned the car and successfully escaping on foot after a second successful pit maneuver. Nevertheless, the suspect was apprehended shortly afterwards. The reason for the attempted escape became evident as the police discovered a quantity of white powder suspected to be narcotics concealed in the suspect's jacket. On January 2, 2023, the police received a report of a high-speed pursuit involving a white passenger vehicle heading east on Interstate 40. The second collision caused the suspect's vehicle to continue clockwise motion towards the southeast, exiting the roadway and coming to the stop in the southbound ditch facing east. The suspect was apprehended without further incidents and along with the passenger. The Sergeant Francis County Sheriff's Office proceeded with the arrest and transferred the suspect to the St. Francis County Detention Center. Let's see how this situation unfolds. Police announced that they have identified a speaky Lincoln vehicle. The request for the driver to pull over is then initiated. The patrolling police officers engage in a brief conversation with the driver. And as soon as the request for the driver to exit the vehicle is made, the driver immediately speeds away. Can he escape? Let's wait and see how this pursuit plays out. Sure. 
the police closely pursued the tail of the vehicle. After a few minutes of pursuit, the police successfully interviewed for the first time and causing the car to veer into the bushes. The driver is apprehended immediately without any injuries. The Florida Highway Patrol is conducting a traffic stop with a black car identified for exceeding the speed limit. The vehicle is closely approached by two highway patrol cars. However, the daring driver decides to flee and nearly collides with the vehicles moving ahead. The daring driver maneuvers through traffic, surpasses the stop signs and accelerates at high speeds, escalating the tension of the pursuit. The police continue to tail under dangerous weather conditions.
intervention tactics are employed, but the vehicle proceeds in attempting to escape until reaching a red light intersection. The suspect exits the car and attempts to flee on foot. However, he is apprehended shortly afterwards, facing multiple serious charges. A Porsche Cayman reported stolen in Collier County was spotted by Florida Highway Patrol during a routine highway patrol. The license plate and color of the vehicle matched a previous report prompting an immediate pursuit by the police. With the intention to escape, the suspect attempted to open the car door and immediately after the successful intervention, the suspect fled on foot. Without a moment to spare, he unfastened the seatbelt and leaped out of the patrol car. The suspect couldn't escape as he was apprehended nearby. When questioned about the vehicle, the suspect claimed to have rated it, offering irrational reasons for his sudden flight. His explanation failed to convince the police and raising doubts about the true nature of the situation. On the streets, the pursuit situation between the patrolling police force and a violator vehicle have become an integral part of the ensuring the traffic security. The patrolling police force are modern-day heroes, tirelessly working with relentless efforts to keep our lives safe. On the inside leg now. Back on the outside lane. Pursuit situations demand quick thinking and decisive form from the police. They face high speed, driving influenced by appropriate substances and situations that pose as a threat to public safety. These police officers are not just task executors but also guardians of the community, shielding it from the negative impacts of traffic violations.
save lives, we experience are the result of unwavering dedication of the patrolling police force. They are street soldiers, united in ensuring that every journey on the road unfolds safely, safeguarding the daily sanctity of our lives.
I'm not sure about the city. Behind a full occupant black male driver, OT, do rag. Hold on, I'll recruit. Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Get up on the ground! Lay down! On your.
four there, you are 3,000. Speeding car near the State 40 in West Memphis caught the attention of the police during a patrol, initiating an immediate pursuit. The police activated sirens and instructed the driver to pull over. However, instead of stopping, the driver accelerated, evading the police. Law enforcement executed intervention maneuvers from behind, causing the vehicle to veer towards the bridge above. The driver promptly abandoned the car and initiated a foot chase. The pursuit continued on foot, with the police determined not to let him escape again. Emergency responders quickly arrived at the scene and the suspect was apprehended not far away and transported to the West Memphis State Detention Facility. sand vehicle was introduced to instruct it to pull over as it had violated some traffic rules during its participation in the traffic. However, the driver had no intention of stopping and fled onto the narrow road near a church.
The police immediately executed a pit maneuver, ending the chase in front of the church. The agonizing screams of the driver were the consequences he brought upon himself and the police called for the ambulance immediately. The fact that he was ejected from the car upon collision with the police vehicle suggested he wasn't wearing his seatbelt. He appeared truly disastrous in this situation. In your opinion, is he deserving of sympathy or blame? We should always ensure that we are ready to pull over anywhere if requested by the police. A speeding vehicle on the highway caught the attention of the police. The patrolling officer immediately turned around to closely tail the violating vehicle. The police officer reported the situation through the radio to the police chief's office. Upon hearing the siren from the police, the driver showed no intention to stop but also didn't accelerate further. The police requested him to pull over immediately. The vehicle continued moving towards a residential area before finally coming to a stop. It turned out to be his mother's house and he claimed he was heading home. The police conducted a thorough check thereafter, and unfortunately the mother had to witness the scene. The police confirmed that he had consumed methamethine earlier. Subsequently, the officer had a brief conversation with the mother, explaining the reasons behind her son's arrest.
Our video concludes here. We hope you've witnessed the unwavering dedication of street safety enforcement. Their unique and silent duties have become symbols of tremendous admiration. With the goal of providing education to our entire viewing community, we always encourage everyone to adhere to the law diligently. Wishing you safe driving, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel today. Goodbye, and see you again.